This video is to give some assignment specifications for your professional development plan that you will be writing for this course. Um, so let's just look at the assignment guidelines that were provided in your syllabus. So what it says is that, that you're going to develop your professional development plan. You're going to consider one short-term goal and a short-term goal has a window of less than one year in terms of time frame of completing. You're also going to consider one long-term professional goal and the time frame for the long-term goals are about three to five years. You're also going to reflect on where you currently stand in your professional career and the implica implications of the professional goals and what they'll have for your future career and professional development. Now you may currently be a student at this point in your professional career. That's totally fine. That's your first step in your professional development and your future career. So if some of your plan for your professional development plan is to finish some coursework or to um, earn a degree, then that's something that you will write about within your professional development plan. And that's where you're going to articulate those goals. So when it comes to organizing your paper, I've laid it out here very simply for you. In your first paragraph, you're going to define and explain your short-term goal. So in that paragraph, you're going to do that. In the second paragraph, you're going to use that short-term goal, and then you're going to outline the strategies and activities that will help you to accomplish that short-term goal, including the time frame and schedule that it's going to take to complete this goal. Some of the examples that you might include in those strategies um, but again, these are not limited to these examples, but just to help you think about some ways that you can attain this short-term goal. Meet with a college counselor or department coordinator to create a course plan. Find a coach or a mentor to work with you. Do professional readings. Keep a log or journal of activities, including your participate, participation in workshops, seminars, professional reading and meetings with coaches and mentors. Get involved with a professional organization or learn to use new technology. So again, th that's a variety um, and a very diverse list of strategies. But again, it's just to kind of help get you thinking about potential strategies and activities that you're going to do to help you attain that short-term goal. In paragraph three, you're going to discuss how you will document and track your professional development activities and accomplishments related to your short-term goal. So again, as you're working through this short-term goal, how are you going to document your progress? How are you going to make sure that you're on track to complete that short-term goal? And that's what you're going to discuss in paragraph three. Coming down onto the next page of the assignment, at paragraph four, again, we're going to switch to explaining and defining your long-term goal. And then you're going to do the same thing for the long-term goal as you did for the short-term goal. You're going to outline your strategies and activities that will help you accomplish your long-term goal, including the time frame and schedule to complete it. And then again, you're going to provide examples that are going to show how you're going to attain that goal. Again, in paragraph six, just like you did with the short-term goal, you're going to discuss how you will document and track your professional development activities and accomplishments related to that long-term goal. And then in your final paragraph, you're going to reflect on the following, where you currently stand in your professional career and the implications these professional goals will have for your future and professional growth. So again, let's say right now you're working in a child care center as an assistant teacher. So again, maybe your, your short-term goal is to finish your associate's degree um, within a year so that you can move up to be a lead teacher. So again, talk about where do you currently stand and what is this goal? What are the implications for those goals? Um, so you can talk about that in terms of your short-term and long-term goal. Um, and the second point, also, if you didn't already discuss one of your goals pursuing a degree or certificate, please identify which degree or certificate you plan on pursuing or are already working towards. And then what plans do you have after receiving this certificate and or degree? So again, within your goal discussion, if you didn't already talk about that you're trying to, um, to earn an associate's degree in early child education, and then you're going to transfer to receive a bachelor's degree, then, you know, put that in there. Or if you're working to get an infant toddler certificate right now, or if you're looking for director credentials, whatever you're working on, um, achieving, then just list that there and talk about that there. For written work, your paper should be approximately two to three pages double spaced. 
Again, college level writing is expected as always, so pay attention to your spelling, grammar, overall organization, and sentence structure. If you included any research, such as articles, journals, web links, please be sure to cite those using APA format. If you included any specific organizations or mentors as part of your strategies for completion, please include that contact information you will need to use to communicate and follow through with that throughout your professional development. And then if you've discussed all of the seven items I told you in each of those seven paragraphs in detail and accurately, and you've covered all the writing components on the grading rubric, rubric then you have done what you needed to to complete this assignment. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. Don't hesitate to reach out, and best of luck on this assignment.